Hi everybody, hope you guys are doing good today. Today's drawing is going to be of Petunia the Labradoodle. This is the drawing right here. I decided to make a proper tutorial where I'll do a voice over over the entire time lapse. Oh, that is hard to say. I've had to re-record this five times. <laughs> so it is a tutorial over the entire time lapse a voiceover yes so that's what I'm going to do for the remainder of this video okay continue the main focus on Petunia <laughs> the Labradoodle is that she was pretty challenging to draw um, one thing you'll notice you cannot see her pretty little eyes she has tiny little pieces of fur um, hanging over her eyes and you cannot see them clearly and because she's so curly and furry and she has ice on her chin stuck in her little chin hairs and on top of her nose um, I am going to show you how I did all of that because it's not exactly the easiest thing to draw and a lot of people or a lot of artists don't know how to approach the whole situation so I'll tell you the materials that I used I used this paper so it's just the Canson watercolor paper, extra large. Um, I usually use the Archer's watercolor paper, but I ran out of that paper, so this is the next best thing. But I found it's pretty much exactly the same. I haven't, I haven't felt any difference with this paper, really. It's actually a bit thicker, which is better. Anyway, so that's the paper that I use for blending with my Prismacolor Premier pencils and my Faber-Castell's Polychromos pencils. I used Art Spectrum's Odorless Solvent, um, which I just used my brushes to dunk them in. And for the background, you'll see I just dunked some tissue paper in that and blended it with my finger in the tissue paper to make it really, really smooth. Um, so what I did with this one, which turned out pretty awesome, and I'll do it again if I ever have to do something curly, um, is I used this. It took a lot of time. Before I put any color to paper, you won't see this in the video, so that's why I'm just explaining this now. Um, it doesn't help I show you this in the video because you won't see anything. All you'll see is me scratching paper and there's nothing happening to the paper. But there is. So I scratched every little curl and hair on this entire drawing. Around the nose, um, between the curls, between the eye, the ice between, you know, on, over the eyes every single hair because just with all the curls and all the shadows if you look at the reference photo which I'll put the reference photo up here and try and show you between each curls you can see little hairs that go in all sorts of different directions and you want to put the you want to include those hairs in the drawings um, it's very difficult to do that with your pencil especially because they're so fine your pencil tips do not stay that sharp I, I find my polychromos pencils might, but I have to sharpen them consistently and my Prismacolor Premier pencils can forget it. They never get such a sharp point and I can't press very hard because they will just shatter and turn into powder. That's the way it feels with the, those pencils lately. It's driving me nuts. But anyway, so before I put any color on, I would etch everything, everything. It took a long time, but it's really, really worth it. The effect that you get later is pretty cool. So I'll also put a picture up here, just a zoomed in version of the nose so that you can actually see what I mean with all the etching and that around the hair. Um, you wouldn't be able to see it now, so I'll put, put a picture up here. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I drew Chuni the Labradoodle, then please keep watching. So to start off with, I used my black pencils and filled in a lot of the nose just in different values so I didn't press too hard some areas I pressed a little harder than others the areas that are going to be very dark and I before I put anything on the nose though like I said I etched everything out first so you'll see as I progress over the nose a lot of the little hairs and that actually stick out they stay quite fine uh, moving on, I have filled in a lot of the darker values around the ice on the chin. So it looks a bit weird at the moment, but it will start making sense soon. So I just filled in a lot of the darker 
value areas between the lighter curls and I didn't worry too much about finer details of hair since I'd already etched everything out on the paper. I'm just quickly putting a base layer down for the background just so I can see exactly where the hairs on the side of the head are going to go over and then I continue to fill in the areas of darker value. Moving on to the ice, I use light greys and light blues um, because the reflection of the ice is quite blue and then I make sure that I fill that in quite I press fairly firmly with the pencils so that the darker pencil going over that actually won't show up over the white. Um, it will kind of just glide over the minute you put the solvent on. Here with the white gel pencil and with the white pencil I just fill in some icy areas around um, the chin and on top of the nose. I don't know if you could see but I will probably do more, I will do more of that right at the end of the video when I do touch ups on the eyes. So now I've just taken my base color which is a light kind of yellowish color and fill that in everywhere and continue to fill in darker values in the fur. So you're just going to continue to build up on these layers over and over and over until you get the value that you want. I don't think I used too many colors. I used a lot of browns and yellows, beiges, and and I used my black um, just to fill in those really dark areas. But otherwise, I just continued to build up and build up. Yeah, I'm filling in the final details with a gel pen to get those extra highlighted bits of frosty ice on the chin and on the ends of the hair, just to make it look a little more more bubbly I guess you could say and to continue those final little white hairs I use the white gel pen I also use the white pencil so I hope that that was a good enough tutorial I know it was a quick video I didn't want to bore you guys too much but there wasn't much more difference to that but if you want to know any other details or if you guys would like longer tutorials then feel free to let me know and I will keep that in mind for the future Thanks for watching guys. Bye.